Let's talk cigar carrying accessories. So the reason I'm making this video is a lot of people have messaged me and asked me to talk about it, different accessories. And I've made a video on the whole cutting and lighting process. And that was kind of a fun video, but historically I've not really been a cigar accessory guy. But recently the whole carrying case scenario for me has changed a lot. So early on, the first and only carrying accessory I had was this, you know, classic Adarini two, three cigar carrying case. Again, I was not fussed about the whole carrying case scenario. I just wanted to focus on cigars. I'd use this or I'd just throw in a bunch of tubos in my bag and it worked, right? Like I felt at the time it was fine, but the more I've started to use different solutions, the more I've realized that now that I actually have them, the simplicity of having a nice carrying case is so much better than I expected. So let me break it down. I got one of these classic leather carrying cases. And this is all good. You can carry your accessories in it. It's pretty decent. But after this Klykrub carrying humidor, uh, this is from our friends at Cigar Hillan, which is a Swedish store here. This kind of changed my perspective a lot. This is my first ever carrying humidor. I've kind of avoided this. Uh, again, I just didn't really think that it was something that was so necessary. But the way I smoke cigars really calls for this kind of solution. I go away to different lounges in, in the city and I carry cigars with me a lot, like really a lot. I have them in my bag like all the time. Having a carrying humidor like this, which actually seals well, has been pretty life-changing to make it dramatic, but at least cigar life-changing. So what's good about this, obviously, first of all, the design is pretty nice. Uh, it's, it's a leather with like a red stitching detail. It's super nice. But second of all, it has this super good padding. And if you can see me press down on it, it really has kind of a, a lot of padding, which is super nice because I can throw this in my bag, like really toss it in my backpack. I can go do other stuff, go to the lounge later, and my cigars feel really protected, like actually well, very well protected. Now, the most important thing, and if you get yourself a carrying case like this, it's the air sealing. So I have had these Boveda packs in here for a couple of weeks now, and they're still soft. And that's, that's weeks in this small little case. And the reason for that, and as you heard in that intro, it's the sealing of the air. It's that sound. It's that sound that you heard in the intro. You can hear that sealing, and it has this sort of leather lining here as well, which lines up perfectly, and just listen to that sound. If you get yourself a carrying humidor case, like this Klykerb one, it's super important that it actually seals, pushes that air out. So then when you actually put up the zipper, which actually does nothing, right? You, that's why you need that sealing aspect. That's what's gonna actually keep the air in. And I mean, in Sweden during the winter, God, it's dry. And I've had these three Boveda packs in here for weeks now, like I said, and it's been keeping my cigars perfectly. When I go to lounges, I often love to bring a lot of cigars with me. Now this has space for six cigars. You can put Robustos here. Then you can put Toros here. It takes up to like a six and a half inch uh, size. For me, that's kind of perfect. Of course, a Churchill is not gonna fit, but you have that sort of trade-off where if you wanna make the case a lot bigger, it's less portability. So having six cigars and having it be this small where I can just put my hand around it is pretty, pretty damn good. It has these like uh, ridges as well, which you don't really get in like a simpler carrying case like this, where the cigars just kind of flop around. Same with this sort of solution where it's just kind of open. It's nice to have those ridges because the cigars are more separated and so they feel really safe. Like I say, if some of these cigars have been in here for two weeks, they're in perfect condition. They've just been sitting here perfectly. When I put the Boveda packs in, uh, it obviously keeps the humidity, but it also sort of protects the cigars a little more. So for me, at the price where this is, the lack of a headache I have is so, so good. But what's really even better is I'm pretty bad at planning. Before, I used to have these other cases and I used to forget them in my bag and there were cigars in there for a few days that were then dehumidified and I would have to throw them back in my humidor and it was kind of a headache. This, like I say, keeps the humidity and that's kind of the most important part for me. I can put cigars in here and this can be my like go-to what I'm gonna be smoking next little mini humidor. This can just be in my bag all the time and for weeks at a time it'll stay humid and my cigars can just be there and I can forget about them and it won't be a problem. And that is why I can really recommend a carrying case humidor if you can find one. If you're in Sweden, of course, go for this Klykrub one. I genuinely recommend it at the price. 
before I had it, like I said, I didn't really know how nice it was to have. So that is my two cents on a carrying humidor uh, and why it actually is a really good move. If you're gonna spend money, like watch my video on the Tupperware containers, that's a really nice way to do it for your house. But on the go, it's nice to invest in something that is actually gonna keep your cigars secure, keep them humid and look good. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know if you guys use this kind of solution, uh, if you agree with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.